G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be having a look at long division, but not the long division you're probably used to. This is a way of doing long division directly without all that messing around. It does have a little bit of a trick to it. Uh, it does take probably one or two equations to get used to, but by the time you do, you'll be doing long division a whole lot faster than that way that they teach you in school. So anyway, sit back and enjoy. And I do recommend at the very least stick through to the third equation. There is just a slight bit of you know, change that you get with different types of questions. Nothing major, but something to be aware of. So anyway, I'm going to start with the first question here. So say, for instance, we wanted to get 16,000 283 and I wanted to divide that by 38. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to draw this up as we would draw standard division up. That is to say, like this, we're going to go 16, 283 and instead of putting 38 here, instead what I'm going to put is the closest tens number and just that first part of it, which is the 4. Okay, so there we go, straight away, a little bit of a variation there. And so what we do with this now is we're going to look about how far we have moved to go from 38 through to the next, that tens number here that would be 40. And you can see what we've had to do is we would have to go up 2. I'm just going to keep that number there. We will be using that as we go along. So like I said, bear with a little bit of this. You'll be okay once you get used to the pattern. So okay, let's go through and start dividing here. So 1 divided by 4, we can't do. So Let's just move on to the next part. 16 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4, pretty simple. There's our first part of our answer, is a 4 there. There's 0 remainder here, so now let's look at the next number here. Now this is, as you can see, 2 divided by 4, but we're going to use a bit of our answer here, and this is where that little bit of a tweak comes in. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply the last part of our answer, this 4 here, with this difference. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And we're going to add that on. All right, so 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. And we're going to go 10 divided by 4. So we're going to use this 10 and we're going to divide by 4. Fettingham, you'll get used to this pretty quickly. So 10 divided by 4, and that's going to be equal to 2, with a 2 remainder, because 2 times 4 is equal to 8. All right, so let's get on with this next part here. What do we have? We have 28, and we're going to divide it by 4. But it's not going to be 28. Once again, 2 times 2 here is equal to 4. 2 times positive 2, we're going to add 4 on. So we're not going to be going 28 divided by 4, we're going to be going 32 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4, this is equal to 8. Once again, with 0 remainder. This last part here is going to be our remainder here. Okay, so let's just work out this final little part and get our remainder worked out. What do we have? We can see that we have a 3 here, and on top of that we have 8 multiplied by 2. So we're going to add that on. 8 multiplied by 2 is equal to 16. Our remainder is equal to 3 plus 16. That's a remainder of 19. And that's how you go about doing this division directly. Long division done directly. Just a couple of little tweaks. And I know they're not, they're not great little tweaks. They're not, and I know there's a little bit of a trick to getting them right. But can I tell you, long division for anyone who's tried to do it is a real pain in the bum, right? So Let's uh, get on with the next question here. Like I said, stick through to the next couple of questions and I reckon you'll start to be pretty right with this. Okay, for our second question, we're going to go 27,819 and we are going to divide this by 44. All right, so look, what do we do? First off, we're going to draw this up in one of these and I'm going to put that 27,819 right here. You're going to see we don't need a huge amount of space like we do with long division either. This is nice and tidy. So to go from 44 up to the, down to the next number, we can go up to 50, but I'm going to go down to 40. To do that, I would have to minus 4. And so that's going to be the thing I'm multiplying by 4. So you can probably guess that instead of adding on that amount, we're going to be subtracting. You'll see. All right. So this, to go down to the next tens would be 40. So that's going to become a 4 here. So let's start just doing this straight away. 2 divided by 4, we can't do. Let's go 27 divided by 4. 27 divided by 4, this is going to be equal to 6. 6 fours are 24, and there is 3 left over. All right, let's now go to the next part here. 38. Okay, we're going to start with this 38 here. And once again, we're going to multiply these two numbers here. So you're going to see 6 times negative 4, we're going to get negative 24. We're going to end up taking away. So when 
This multiplier here is negative, we're gonna end up taking away. When it's positive, we're adding it on. So 38, take away 24, this is equal to 14. All right, pretty cruisy, right? 14 divided by four, that is equal to three with two left over. All right, cool. Now what do we have? I'll just get rid of this here. We'll get on to the next one where we have 21 and we got three times minus four. So that's 12. Okay, this is equal to 21 take away 12. That's equal to nine. Nine divided by four is equal to two with one left over. All right, cool. All right, so what are we left with now? This is going to be the very last digit here, which is going to be our remainder. So let's do this. We have 19, the one and the nine here, and we are going to multiply two by negative four, so minus eight. The answer is 11. We have a remainder of 11. Okay, so that's our answer, 632 with a remainder of 11. Now, as I said, stick around to the third one. That's this next one, because I am going to show you just a little thing that you occasionally have to do. And then I'm going to put a few examples up for you to do yourself. Okay, for the next example, as I told you, there's going to be a bit of a tweak on this one. And then what I'm going to do is give you a couple of your own to do. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to get you working at the following. 64,821, and this is going to be divided by 38. I know I've been sticking to 40 a fair bit. I didn't realize that until afterwards, but okay, doesn't matter. Same, 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 same. So anyway, as you can see, I'm gonna draw this up as the following, okay? And here's gonna go 64,821, and the closest tens number to 38 here is going to be 40. So to get to 40, I'd have to add two, and this is gonna be divided by four. All right, cruisy. Let's get going. Six divided by four, easy is one, carry the two. The next thing we have is 24, and to that, we have one times two, and we're gonna add that on. So that is going to be 26. 26 divided by four, well, six fours are 24, so that's gonna be a six, and there is two left over. All right, let's get on to the next one here. So what we have is 28, and we have six times two, which is 12. Now, 28 plus 12 is equal to 40. 40 divided by four is equal to 10. Now, 10's a bit strange here. How do I write a 10 here? Now look, what I'm gonna do is for the minute, I am just gonna put a 10 like that. And I'm gonna get back to this, okay? You might wanna, when you do it, you might wanna adjust it as you go, or you might wanna adjust it afterwards, like I'm gonna do right now. So let's just move on to the next part, okay? So what do we have is we now have this part here, which is two, and what we have is we're gonna to add to this 10 times two. So that is equal to 20, which is equal to 22. 22 divided by four, is equal to five. Five with a remainder of two. All right, so let's, what we got now, we have uh, 21, and to that we're going to be adding five times two, which is 10, so we have a remainder of 31. Not quite finished yet, did tell you I was gonna actually sort something else out here, which is this particular part here. All we do is we carry this one across here. So one plus six, this is going to become a seven here. Our answer, 1,705 with a remainder of 31. So that's the little variation that you get with that. So what about now I give you a couple of these to do yourself and I'll work through them with you. So the one I'm gonna get you to do to start out with is a nice easy one, 6,034, and that would be divided by 43. All right, so let's first off draw the division here. We have 6,034, and we're gonna be dividing that by four. Four for 40, okay? And to get to 40, we'd have to subtract three. All right, let's go. Six divided by four, that is equal to one with two left over. Okay, so we've got a 20 here, and to that, we're going to be taking what one times three is. So take away three, we have the answer of 17. 17 divided by four, that's going to be four with one left over. So now let's get to the next part of our answer. 13, and to that we're going to be taking away four times three. So take away 12, which is equal to one. Okay, so one divided by four, well that's gonna be zero, and we're gonna carry that one across. And now we're going to get that last number, which is going to give us the remainder. 
Okay, so what do we have here? We have 14 and we have zero times negative three. Well, it's just gonna give us zero. So our remainder is going to be 14. Now, hopefully that was pretty easy for you. What about one last one of these? All right, the very last one, we are going to go 308,379 and we're gonna divide this by 92. What about I give you the hardest one, right? So now let's draw this up, okay? Pretty simple, 308,379 and the nearest tens number is going to be 90, so this here is gonna be a nine. To get to that 90, we'd have to subtract two. Cool, let's just start doing this. Okay, we can't go three divided by nine, but we can go 30 divided by nine if we carried that three across. 30 divided by nine is equal to three with three left over, three nines are 27. So now what we have is we have this 38 here, and we're gonna be taking away two times three. So take away six is equal to 32. All right, so let's work this out. 32 divided by nine, hey, that's also gonna be three because 27 is the closest two, and there is going to be a five that's now carried over. Let's now work this next particular one out. Okay, we have 53, and to this we have three times minus two, so we're gonna be taking six, which is equal to 47. 47 divided by nine is equal to a five. You know, five nines are 45, so that's gonna be a five where we have two left over. So that's going to be equal to 27. All right, so let's now get this last little bit worked out. We have 27, and then what we have to do is we're going to go five times minus two, so we're gonna take away 10, which is equal to 17. 17 divided by nine, that is equal to one, and we have eight left over. So what's our remainder gonna be? Well, let's start this out. Our remainder, we have 89, and from this we've got one minus two, which is going to be minus two. So 89 minus two is 87. We have a remainder of 87. And hopefully that's what you got. There you go. That's how you go about doing this particular long division directly. Like I said, there's a couple of little steps that at the start might seem a little bit strange, but this ends up being a whole lot easier than working it out the traditional way. It's one of those ones, I feel like you don't know why they just don't teach you like this. I think it's far, far, far easier. But that's just the way it is. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and put in the comments what you thought of this. Do you prefer long division the normal way? Do you prefer long division this way? You let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Big shout out to everybody uh, who's my subscribers, who's my patrons, and you guys stay well. Take care. See you later.